In today's video, we will solve numericals based on five variable k -me. So this is the Boolean function corresponding to five variables where a, b, c, d, e are the five variables and f is the output. And this Boolean function is saying that the meaning of this Boolean function is that f is 1 on the occurrence of following min terms. That is when the value of a, b, c, d, e e is 0 1 4 5 and so on so this is the meaning of this boolean function okay now we need four five variable k map so for five variables 2 raised to the power 5 is equals to 32 so for five variables we need 32 blocks how many blocks we need we need 32 blocks so we need because 32 can be written as 16 plus 16 and 16 is equals to 2 raised to the power 4. So we need 2 4 variable k maps. 2 4 variable k maps. So these are 2 4 variable k maps. Okay. But how can we represent these 5 variables in these 2 k maps? Okay. So let us take B, C, D, E. Out of these 5 variables, I am taking B, C, D, and E. And I am writing here B, C, and D E. Okay. Similarly, I will write here B C D E. So I can represent B C D E in these four variable chemists because these are B C D E are total four variable. Now I will tell you step by step how can we write min terms in these KMFs, how can we fill this KMF and how can we make grouping in this KMF, how can we write names corresponding to the groups, okay. So first of all, B, C, D, E are four variables and what are the possible combinations of four variables? There are total 16 possible combinations of four variables. B, C, D, E are four variables. B, C, D, E. So the possible values, their possible values are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1 up to 1, 1, 1, 1. Total 16 values are possible corresponding to these 4 variables, okay? But here we have 5 variables in the function. We have 5 variables in the function and 5 variables will have total 32 values, 32 combinations. So what will be these 15, 32 values? So it will be something like this. If I add A in this, so it will be the values will be something like this, 0, 0, 0 and up to 0 uh, 4 times 1 and then we if we add 1 to this we will have 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 and this combination this 4 variable combination will be repeated for the value of a is equals to 1 okay so this combination will again be repeated this is the combination of b c d this is the 16 values of b c d e when value of a is equal equals to 0 and this combination the 16 values will be repeated for a is equals to 1 so uh, we will have 1 1 1 1 1 as the final value so these are the total 32 possible values of five variables a b c d and d so a b c d and e okay so what we are observing here that we have b c d we have a is equals to 0 for these 0 to 6 0 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. For these 16 values, we have A is equals to 0. And again, for these 16 values, we have A is equals to 1. Okay. So, in this KMF, we will take A is equals to 0. And in this second KMF, we will take A is equals to 1. Because we are noticing, we are observing here that for this 16 values, we have A is equals to 0. And again, for these 16 values, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, we have A is equals to 1. So, A is equals to 0 in this first KMF and A is equals to 1 in this second KMF. Okay. Now, how can we write min terms corresponding to 4 variables B, C, D, E? So, 0, 0. Here we write 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Here again we write 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. Okay. Here again we write 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. And here it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now how will we write min terms? So 0, A is equals to 0. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is equals to 0. So we should write a 0 here. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is equals to 1. Similarly, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 is equals to 3 and here it is 2. So, I will fill the K map according to these values. So, it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Now in this K map, 1 and again 0, 0, 0, 0 is equals to what? It is equals to 16. So I should write a 16 here. Here it is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 and finally 31. So these are total 0 to 31, 32 values. 32 min terms can be filled in this. Okay. Now f is equals to 1 on the occurrence of following min terms 0, 1, 4, 5. So 0, 1, 4, 5. So I should write a 1 corresponding to these min terms 16, 17. So 0, 1, 4, 5, 16, 17, 21. 25 where is 25 it is here so 25 and finally 29 so where is 29 it is here okay so we have these two k maps and imagine these two k maps as the piece of paper or handkerchief or something else so if we keep these two papers on one another, on each other if we keep this paper on this or if we keep this paper on this paper so this block will coincide with this block this block will coincide with this block, this will coincide with this, this will coincide with this, this will coincide with this and so on. So if we make grouping, we have to keep this thing in our mind. So first of all, let's do the grouping of this. So here we make a group of four ones. Okay. Now there is no other one in this K map. Now if we look at this K map, we can make a group of these two ones. Okay. We can make a group of these two ones because uh, if there was a one, we would have made the group of these fours okay but here there is no one so we are making a group of two ones but if we see here if we keep this k map on this k map 0 1 will coincide with 16 and 17 so instead of making the group of these twos we can make a group of this and this okay we can combine this so this is not the individual group the group in yellow denoted by this yellow color is made of these fours one one and one one so this is an individual this is a combined group these are not two individual group why we are doing this because if we keep this k map on this k map then this these and these these groups will coincide so our aim should be to make the biggest group possible if we make this group only then we will have two ones here but we are combining we are using here overlapping okay so we are combining this with this so this is a single group not individual groups okay now we should make a group of these four ones here and this is not coinciding with any of this group in this k map okay any of these min terms in this k map so these are the total how many groups are there one two and i should use different color for this and this is the third group so there are total three groups now how, how should we do the naming corresponding to this so f is equals to first of all let's talk about this group denoted by pink color so here if we see a is equals to zero value of a is equals to zero so i should write complement of a okay now this in these two rows in these two rows value of b is fixed which is zero so we should write complement of b but value of c is changing that's why we should eliminate this now in these two columns value of d is fixed which is zero so i should write complement of d but value of e is changing okay let's take second group in this group group denoted by yellow color this is an individual group uh, made by 0 1 16 and this is 17 okay so how can we name it uh, this came this group falls in these two kmfs where value of a is changing value of a is equals to 0 here and a is equals to 1 here so we should eliminate a okay now in this group we can see in this row value of b is 0 and c is 0 so we should write complement of b complement of c and this group falls under these two columns these two columns so in these two columns value of d is fixed which is complement of d but value of e is changing from 0 to 1 okay so we should simply eliminate e okay 
ओके नाउ इन दिस लास्ट ग्रुप दिस ग्रुप इन दिस ग्रुप वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज फिक्स विच इज वन सो वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज वन सो वी शुड सिंपली राइट ए एंड दिस ग्रुप फॉल्स इन दिस कॉलम एंड इन दिस कॉलम वैल्यू ऑफ बी सी इज चेंजिंग बट वैल्यू ऑफ डी ई इज फिक्स सो डी इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड ई सो दिस इज द नेमिंग दिस इज द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन दिस इज द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन नाउ वी शुड सोल्व अन अदर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज आवर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वेर द मिन टर्म्स आर जीरो टू फोर सेवन एट सो जीरो टू फोर सेवन एंड एट देन टेन ट्वेल्व सिक्सटीन सो टेन एंड वेर इज ट्वेल्व इट इज हियर ट्वेल्व सिक्सटीन देन एटीन ट्वेंटी सो एटीन ट्वेंटी then 23 24 25 so 23 24 25 then 26 27 28 so 26 27 and 28 now we have to do the grouping following the same rule as we done in the previous question okay now as we can see here if we make the group of these one then this group coincides with this group because here also there are one 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 so this group coincides with this group so our aim should be to make the biggest possible group that's why i'm combining these two groups as i told you earlier that if we keep this k map on this k map then these terms will coincide with these terms this whole column will coincide with this column okay so this is our first group now let's make the second group how can we make the second group here if we see we can make the group by this rolling okay 1 2 3 4 this is the rules of four variable k map i am following the same rules as we done in four variable k map but if we see in this k map here also there are one on these corners so we should do this 1 2 Three, four. So this group coincides with this groups. So group denoted by yellow is our second group. This is our first group in pink, and this is our second group. Okay. Now in this K map, only this one is remaining. There is no adjacent one corresponding to this one. Okay. But so we should make a group of single. But in this K map also there is one. So if we keep this K map on this K map, this seven will coincide with twenty. so this is our another group i should make it with color blue okay so this is our third group so in this k map no other no one is remaining but in this k map these two ones are remaining so we can combine these two ones with these two ones to make the bigger group so this is the last group this is the last group now finally we should do the naming okay so f is equals to our final expression will be equals to first of all let's write the name corresponding to this group represented by pink okay So this group falls in these two k maps where value of a is changing from zero to one. So we should simply eliminate a. Now in this groups, in this group, uh, value of b c is also changing in these four rows, but value of d e is fixed, which is zero zero. So we should write d complement e complement. Now we should go for second group. Second group denoted by yellow. So this group also falls in these two k maps where value of a is changing from zero to one. So we should eliminate Eliminate a. Now in these two rows, in these two rows, value of b is changing, but value of c is fixed, which is complex zero. So we should write complement of c. Now in these two columns, in these two columns, value of d is changing, but value of e is fixed, which is zero. So again, we should write complement of e. Or now we should name this group. Uh, this group, okay. So in this group, this group falls in this K map, and in this K map, value of a is fixed, which is one. So I should write a because the value of a is one. Uh, and in this row, value of b is one, so I should write b. And value of c is zero, so I should write complement of c. But in this row, value of d and e are changing. Now the last group is this, okay? This group, okay? Now this group also falls falls in these two K maps where value of a is changing, so we should eliminate it. But in this group group in this row, value of b c is fixed, which is zero one. So I should write b is complement and c. And in this column, in this column, value of d e is fixed, which is one one. So I should write d e. So uh, this is our final expression.